Your next adventure starts here in the new 2015 Ford Expedition with EcoBoost. It's the most powerful and fuel efficient expedition ever. An innovative, powerful third row folds completely flat, so it's easy to bring all your gear. And sync with my Ford Touch and navigation keeps you connected. Ford Expedition. Life is better uncharted. Hi, I'm Casey Hogan with the Turleton Sports Network, presented by the North Texas Ford Dealers. This is the 2015 Lone Star Conference Online Basketball Media Day, as I'm joined by senior point guard Mike Harge. And Mike, we'll talk later in the interview about all the things you've accomplished in your career, going to the Final Four, 31 wins last year, but you've never been ranked number one in the nation, and two polls have you number one. Any added pressure? I mean, of course it's added pressure, but I mean, we still got to go out there, and we're 0-0 at the beginning of the season, so... I mean, a ranking is good to have, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that until you're pretty deep in the playoffs and stuff like that. So this is the Lone Star Conference Media Day. So let's talk conference basketball. There's one poll that has four Lone Star Conference teams in the top 25 coming into this year. Just how tough is this conference? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I think it's pretty tough. I mean, every game that we go out there and play, whoever we're playing, it's going to be a tough battle, and they're going to try to come and get us. And, I mean, of course, with us being number one right now, we're always going to have a target on our back, and winning the conference last year is going to have added to target, too. But, I mean, playing every team in this conference, you never know what you're going to get. So you're about 11 days away from going to Texas, where you'll open up against the Longhorns in an exhibition. You're from Georgetown. Yeah, you're going to be yeah. just a few miles south on 35. No. How much is that game going to mean to you? It's going to mean a lot, because, I mean, growing up, I've always wanted to play at Texas, against Texas. You know, I mean, growing up, I was always at their games, yeah. and, I mean, Going back home to be able to play around people I know and have family and friends come out to the game is going to be an amazing experience. So the Harge family contingent at the Irwin Center will be pretty big? Oh, yeah. of course. And then, you know, you got Georgetown High School might come yeah. out and rep. Yeah. I got yeah. some friends out there. It's going to be nice. So you've been to the Final Four. You've won two conference tournament championships. You've won two Lone Star Conference championships. So one thing you haven't done is been to the national championship game. Would anything short of that this year be a disappointment to you? Oh, of course, without a doubt. I mean, last year... Being so close, but still so far away, it was it was very bittersweet. I mean, it was a great accomplishment to get there, but I mean, I didn't, I wanted it all, of course. But I mean, this year we're gonna see what we can do. That's senior point guard Mike Harge. I'm Casey Hogan. The Turleton Texans open up at the University of Texas on Friday, November sixth, at five o'clock from the Irwin Center. This is the 2015 Lone Star Conference Basketball Online Media Day. Whatever the world throws at you. Take it on. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Be unstoppable. The all new 2015 Ford Edge. Hi, this is Casey Hogan for the Turleton Sports Network, presented by the North Texas Ford Dealers. We're here for the 2015 Lone Star Conference Online Basketball Media Day as I'm joined by the head basketball coach at Turleton State, Lon Reisman, and our associate head coach, Chris Reisman. And uh, Coach, I'll start with you. You're number one in the nation in two preseason polls. Found out today there's a new, the former Bennett's, which is now the Hero Sports Poll. You're number one. You're number one in the sporting news. So, obviously, the final four, 31 wins, and the target just keeps getting bigger. Well, Casey, we just had a great tradition here. Year after year, you know, we've been able to sustain a, a solid basketball program. And, and when you do that, I think that people take notice around the country, and uh, they, have, they understand the type of program that we built here, and we're very proud of what we've accomplished. Chris, you've got uh, nine guys coming back on this roster. Obviously, you've got some newcomers. We'll talk about those guys shortly. Who are some of those nine guys, though, that you're going to look to to provide leadership? Well, the guys that really were in the battle last year, Casey, I think down the stretch, Michael Harge played very well. EJ Reed really started to come into his own and kind of bought in and finally kind of translated some of what we wanted him to do from the beginning of the season. Um, and Malcolm Hamilton, you know, really showed spurts sure. last year to where he could be an elite player in our league, but we just need more consistency from all three of them. But I think... Those will be the guys that we need to kind of show the responsibility early until the new guys and even some of the younger guys that are coming back are able to get in, get in gear. Coach, you're going to go to Texas uh, in a little over a week on Friday, November 6th, to take on Shaka Smart's, Shaka Smart's Longhorns. Obviously, the goal is to win the game, but other than that, what do you want to see from your guys? Well, you know, you always look for exhibition games, and you always want to play people that you feel like that are better than you are, Casey. I think it's important that you play great competition early because we want to see where our weaknesses are. If we know where our weaknesses are, then we're able to work on those before the season starts, and that's, that's a week later when we play Colorado University of Colorado Colorado Springs, who we played in the NCAA tournament last year. 
And so, uh, you know, we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to get an opportunity and, and uh, to play an outstanding Big 12 team. And, uh, you know, it's going to help us down the line when we uh, – and also it's a road game. And so it's going to help us down the line as we as we – progress into our season. Good for the university too from a well, media it's, standpoint. It's great exposure, great marketing for our university. I know our alums are going to have a, a you know a big deal down there and, and uh, so it's, it's just great exposure to when you get a chance to play at the University of Texas. Chris, we talked about the nine guys coming back but 11 new faces on this roster. Who are some of those guys though you're going to expect to immediately get some playing time? Well I think a lot of people will recognize Charles Hill, you know, the transfer out of TCU who was a very big high school name out of Texas uh, as he was coming up to the, to the prep ranks and you know, he's really came in and bought in and, and absorbed things very, very quickly. And so we're excited about him. And, you know, Xavier Smith, another kid from Plano East High School, mm -hmm. we already had a couple that transferred from St. Bonaventure is doing, doing a great job right now. And he's learning how we do things in our system. And uh, he's just, you know, day by day get, getting a lot better. And, you know, that there's several new faces. We have, you know, a great recruiting class right now in terms of freshmen that are just learning the transition to college basketball right now, and they're all getting better each day. And so it's kind of early to tell you right now which one of them are going to progress to the point to where they can come in and play big minutes early. But uh, right now, we're excited with the progress of each of our new guys. Coach, you have 589 career wins. I know you don't take one win for granted, much less 11, but if you do get to 600 this year, uh, what would that mean to you? Well, it means that I've had great players and a great coaching staff beside me, Casey. I mean, this is not all about Lon Reisman. This is about the, the great coaching staff I've had and the guy sitting next to you right, or sitting right next to you, Chris Reisman over there, has been a big part of, of uh, how we've uh, progressed and, and how we've had to change some and change with the times. And, and then I've had great assistant coaches, like I've said, and I've had great players. And, and it's not about Lon Reisman. It's about the total program and, and what we've built here all together. That's Lon Reisman and Chris Reisman for the 2015 Lone Star Conference Online Basketball Media Day. The Tarleton Texans open up the season on Friday, November 6th at 5 o'clock from the Irwin Center against the University of Texas. They'll return home for the opener on Friday, November 13th at 7 o'clock against Colorado, Colorado Springs.